Uh, of course, nobody showed more, more signs of mental impairment this week than Bette Midler, who tried to defend Democrats against inflation by firing at President Trump, only to hit every migrant with a stray bullet, tweeting, quote, if you don't like your grocery prices now, wait until Trump deports the people who pick it, process it, and package it. Now, Bette Midler better watch it, because if you keep saying racist things about South Americans, the Democrats will make her Speaker of the House. <laughs> We have a shortage of workers in our country. And you see even in Florida, some of the farmers and the growers saying, why are you shipping these uh, immigrants uh, up north? We need them to pick the crops. <laughs> yeah, liberals love to call everybody else racist. But is the call coming from inside the farm stand? Uh, Gina, coming to you first for no reason at all. Of course. Nothing, uh, uh, nothing contrived about this. Go you, right ahead. you got started doing comedy in a strawberry patch. I what sure was that did. like? It was amazing for me and my people. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy, are Ben Midler and Nancy Pelosi proof that we need term limits on Twitter? Because these old white ladies can't speak, but they have no filter. I mean, but here's Nancy Pelosi going, yeah, I am all for immigration control, and we need to build a wall. So <laughs> this is the week to follow Nancy Pelosi's stock tracker. Like, you know, if Paul Pelosi starts buying stock in Home Depot, they're building the wall. Like, it's, it's absolutely happening, and that might be a, a great buy this week. Paul Pelosi all over Craftsman Tools <laughs> yeah, exactly. for some reason. <laughs> I love this. Tom, but what I think is, like, fascinating about this level of stupidity behind Bette Midler's tweet is that, one, she thinks everyone crossing the border is from South America. They're from every country in the world, to be clear. And, two, this fallacy that everyone from South America is picking fruit. We know that's not true, because some of them are in the Yankees' batting lineup. 100 percent. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be... Thank you. ...in the American League Thank Championship you. Series. Thank you. Um, but Shuck it, Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Indians, Guardians, whatever the hell they are. This <laughs> um, but to your overall point... I've done the research. Like uh -huh. I research extensively for this segment, and I can say for a fact, not one member of Trend de Aragua <laughs> is going to be picking any peppers <laughs> this upcoming pepper picking season. Okay, uh, it's not going to happen. The people that Trump's going to deport are literally the criminals uh -huh. who are not here to work. So if I'm going to indulge Bette Midler's racism there, yeah. there you have it. Go Yankees! <laughs> Yeah, the only thing Trende Aragua is picking is pockets, if you spent any time in, in Times Square. But to the point of deportations being so ri uh, racist, I'll come back to you, Obama deported more people yeah. than anybody. He yeah, was the they... Pete Rose of deportations. He broke Ty Cobb's record. Yeah, and immigration yeah, like advocates were really upset with him because he, he far out-deported people from Trump or Biden. Yeah. And, you know, it, Trump's hoping to get his numbers up when he gets back in office. <laughs> like, he wants, to, you know, he wants like, to cover the spread. Obama, hold my beer. <laughs> I'm going to get there. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's not necessarily the fix, but mm -hmm. stereotyping people who come into this country, like, oh, the only thing they can do, it's like, oh, they can't go to college? Yeah, yeah. Like, they, they can't get PhDs and... That's what I mean. ...be microbiologists? It's, it's like the point we were making in the taxi during that fair that you ran out on without paying. Um, <laughs> their attitude... I hundred on this <laughs> Did you ever? Yes. Their attitude is it's demeaning. That's the point I'm trying to make. And I think a lot of white liberal women are trying to absolve their racism by supporting these causes that they think show empathy. But I'm going to give you an example, Gina. If you ride the one train in this city, okay, there is a mariachi band Yes. That has been on this train for 25 years. I know them for well. For as long as we've been <laughs> doing them. comedy, they you know them. I know them, you know them. I okay. produced their CD. We're last, very close. Last May, I'm riding the one train uptown because I got to work on my hand speed. You know what I mean? You get on the one just to stay sharp. There's going to be fights. <laughs> but I see the mariachi band get on at 42nd. Everybody's always happy to see them. The accordion, oh, ah, everybody gets out money. A white lady gives them a five and goes, I think it's terrible Ron DeSantis sent you here. <laughs> I wanted to be like, yo, I'm with her. They've been on this train for 25 years. <laughs> but that's who these people are, you know? It's, it's, the, it's the white lady who's yes. trying to show how unracist she is by saying the most racist thing in the world. A hundred percent. I deal with it every day. This is my message <laughs> to white women who do that. Please stop. <laughs> 
that's it. That's, that's all you it. needed? Just, just stop. <laughs> that is funny. But yeah, apparently the wind beneath Bet's wings uh, was slave labor. Dude, the, the <laughs> trumpet player, they do very well at the mariachi band. Oh, yeah. The trumpet player got in his jag uh -huh. and drove to Montclair, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> to his five-bedroom mansion. Like, they're, that, they're doing great. That's so, how Trump's going to put this over the top at that MSG rally. He's going to go, no taxes on mariachi. <laughs> and he's going to carry Harlem and he's going to walk away with this thing. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.